on the trail of a detective story. That's how the World Health Organization has described its mission to uncover the origins of the pandemic in Wuhan. And touring an animal health care facility, these scientists were upbeat about their work. They visited hospitals and the seafood market where the first COVID-19 cases were detected. One year since the beginning of the outbreak, the UN agency says seeing the sites firsthand is important. They are having very productive discussions with uh, Chinese counterparts, visiting different hospitals around Wuhan. They've had a very good visit to the market, seeing firsthand um, the stalls and walking through, and we had some good feedback from them of, of the importance of being able to physically walk through. But the mission is politically sensitive. On Monday, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken raised questions over Beijing's willingness to provide the WHO with adequate access and accurate information. The mission has included visits to an exhibition depicting Wuhan medical workers as heroes and to a cold chain storage facility. State media here have suggested the virus was imported to China through frozen food. Beijing has rejected criticism, saying the WHO should conduct a similar investigation in the U.S. The U.S. Center for Disease Control says coronavirus antibodies were identified there in December 2019. We hope, like China, the U.S. will also take positive, cooperative attitude in pursuing the origin of the virus and invite WHO experts to America. The WHO says all hypotheses are on the table, but the trip has been tightly controlled. The team of members with expertise in virology, food safety and veterinary science plan to speak to some of the first coronavirus patients and visit Wuhan's Institute of Virology. That's where dangerous pathogens, including coronaviruses, were being studied. The WHO mission to Wuhan took months of negotiation to agree with the Chinese government. Team members who have spoken to Al Jazeera say their field work could also take months, even years. They've asked the international community to be patient and to avoid any cynicism about their investigation. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing.